Hello, and welcome to Raid the Sanctuary. The raiding is referencing a Viking uh, motif for the more advanced course. We're going to stick with yellow because Westmoreland Park is pretty demanding terrain, and the course center has a sense of humor. Uh, I love this stuff, but it it's tough. Not this first one, though. Uh, if you've watched the white course video, it's the last control. It's not uncommon for yellow and white courses to share controls. One goes clockwise, one goes anti-clockwise. So nice, easy start. And this next one won't be too tough either. Uh, we're going to follow this track down, handrail against the private property and the stone wall. So very easy navigation. And then we come to an open area, which we can just see on the screen there with dense vegetation behind it. So goldenrod, open terrain, dark green, uh, difficult to move through. No worries. And we're going to come on up back into the wooded area, which is represented in white. And we'll be presently coming on to the control, which we've got a nice stone wall as a catchment along with the trail. And there we go. Okay. Uh, things are about to go south. We're getting maybe a little cocky, whatever, but I will try and describe the mistakes that I made as best as I can figure them out. But this is one of the problems. When you do something right, you know you did it right. And when you did it wrong, you just know you did it wrong, not how you did it wrong. Uh, and if the map's not moving very quickly, it's because we're using a 9 seconds to the minute uh, ratio. So you saw that open area. And the fenced area should be to my left, but it was to my right. So in this break in the stone wall now is in the upper left hand corner of the map and we think we're over by that uh, intersection sort of center right of the map so yeah we got problems and we're gonna have some row gain here and by the mean head scratching so we figure out okay how do we kludge this up and where are we exactly and how do we uh, get back to where we need to be so when you get messed up rather than just keep running stop think, pause, figure out where you are on the map, go back to a known location if need be, um, rather than just go around in circles and make it worse and worse and worse. But eventually we figured it out, and in the distance we can see the boulder where the control is right next to, and all right, we're back on track. Uh, I think this is about the only... Uh, control that we really kludged up this time around. And two zero. But if, maybe there's some others. We'll see. But off we go. Okay, now uh, we've got a nice stone wall and a trail. And we get onto the trail and we can see the stone wall on our left. So we know we're on the right trail. And it's rare, quick, easy movement, slight downhill. High ground to our right, as the contour lines indicate. And then the trail gets right up next to the stone wall and we can pass by uh, perpendicular stone walls which again mark our location and as we get to the second perpendicular stone wall we know uh, we're getting pretty close and then when the trail splits to the right from the stone wall we know okay this is where we gotta make some decisions so we're gonna climb off the trail and move down in towards an intermittent stream and two rocks where the control is located. Now we'll need to cross not just the intermittent stream but an actual stream which is marked in the solid blue line. Dot and dash blue indicates intermittent and while we've had a wet spring that weekend was quite dry. Now we have the stone wall and trail intersection and the control is going to be just up along the stone wall between some boulders. And there we go. Okay, for this next one, we've got a trail, and we've got to get over the stone wall first. And then we can kind of handrail the trail and the stone wall. And then we see this intersection, the four stone walls come together, and we can see on the map, so we know exactly where we are. And then again, kind of hand railing a stone wall for a bit. And 
then the controls can be just on the other side of the stone wall. And I can see it in the distance. And there we are. Now we'll start by hand railing along this stone wall. And in the distance you can see the stone wall that intersects it. And then we want to grab this trail that's just above the stone wall. It's not as distinct on the ground as I had anticipated, but we know it's there and that's where we want to go. So off we go. And then we're going to move into this draw or valley with rocks uh, to the side. That woman is participating in the raid um, series of courses. So she's looking for some controls I'm also looking for, but she's also looking for ones I'm not. And on the right of the picture, you can see the sort of rock cliff face. So you move up the trail. And then you can see some boulders uh, to the right of me and to the right of the trail on the map. And then we get to a point where we need to pull off the trail and head for the control, which we can see right there. And the brown indicates sort of dirt piled up against the boulder, which was in black. All right, that's control seven. Now, control eight is going to be not in a straight line. If you were to go a straight line, you would have to go up that rather substantial steep hill. No, thank you. We're going to turn left and go up the track, and then it makes a U-turn and follow it. And then we're nearing at the top a stone wall, and you can see it there in the distance. And when we get to the top, we also have, we're going to cross that stone wall, we have another one, we're going to handrail for a bit. And then there's the control. In the middle distance. Good. Four seven. For this next one, we've got some sort of guideposts, if you will. There are stone walls to our left and right, along with the trail. And as long as we don't cross them, we know we're going in the right direction, more or less. So, set a compass bearing and motor. It's very pleasant going, I might add. Right amount of shade. No undergrowth to speak of. And then we know we get close as we see this body of water. And just to the other side of it will be the control next to a boulder. And there we go. Double check. Yep. For our next control, um, we can come down onto the trail or sort of follow the valley. You can see the black dots on the map and the number of rocks. All right, so a fairly rocky area. Some impediment to movement, but not too bad. You may recall that boulder if you watched the white course. And we're coming up to the boulder that we want to find. We have the trail to the left and the hill to the right. Okay, there we go. Now for this next one, we can get down onto the trail, or we can kind of stay up a bit. You can see we just crossed the stone wall that's on the map. And so we're on the trail and moving along quite nicely. Coming up to the next stone wall that we see at the top of the map there. And you can see the green lines indicating dense undergrowth. And these folks are giving us a clue. They're coming off the control we're looking for. And you notice they're above me on the slope. So I'm down on the trail because it's easier to go. But it means at some point i got to make a hard right 
and start going back up the hill. And this is one of the decisions you need to make. Do you lose elevation or do you hold on to it? Knowing what I know now, I think I would have kept above and kept the elevation rather than utilize the trail. All right, but we found it, so there we go. All right, for this next one, um, again, the green indicates that it's vegetation slow going. So we're going to grab a track instead. And I do apologize, my over the shoulder shooting action camera ran out of battery at that point. So I'm now using a chest mounted camera, which unfortunately is tilted down a bit. So you're seeing the ground, but not a lot of the information I'd like you to have. This stone wall tells us, okay, we need to turn, follow it up to the control. Go. 130. 130. Now for this next one, we could have followed the stone wall straight to the control. And I think in my younger days I would have, but I decided instead to follow some tracks and sort of zigzag right on this get on top of stone wall and run. Uh, concerned about the amount of dense vegetation and understory that might have presented um, trip hazards or a challenge. So off we go. This grassy area is the open area to the right that's fenced in. So you can see I really did a lot of zigging and zagging. And then you can just make out the building in the picture that is the sort of headquarters if you go right by the end. But here we are coming up to the finish. And here are the results. Now my goal is always not dead last, not dead last, which I made. But then if I'm really doing well, I like to be in the top half, which... I wasn't yeah, this yeah, time. Yeah, like, yeah. And a big thanks yeah, to everyone at Hudson Valley Orienteering for giving us all such a grand day out. Take care.